Okay, we are making buko pie. Made in Stockton. We are making the crust. One half cup of flour, one fourth cup of sugar, one giant tablespoon of cornstarch to make it hard, and one cup of coconut juice. We're gonna cook our uh, young coconut meat in the butter with our mixed uh, harina and uh, sugar and some cornstarch make this hard when it gets sticky it'll be ready to be put in the uh, crust Okay, and just keep stirring, keep ukay ukay until thick or sticky. Okay, see how it starts to get thick now or sticky. This is almost ready. When it's when it gets real sticky, then it will be ready, and we're just gonna let it cool down and put it in the press and it will be ready to be baked. Okay, we're gonna pour our uh, cooked uh, buku mix into the crust. It's a little thick, but we'll see how it comes out. But I think this is just right. It is a mixture of flour, Sugar, the uh, coconut juice or the the water that was with it, and uh, some cornstarch to make it thick and sticky. Then we're gonna cover it with the dough that we made. Almost done. Cut the extra dough around it. Uh, push your top crust with the end of your fork like this. When it grows, you won't break the uh, dangle. And you put a little bit of gold so in case uh, it goes, it, it expands, then it has some uh, place where the, uh, the pressure can come out. This is it. We are ready to put it in the oven. Okay, our buko pie is ready. It's in the oven. We're gonna leave, let it sit there for about 30 to 40 minutes, depending on how you want the crust to look. If you want the crust to be uh, brown or extra brown, we can do that. Oh, we forgot. We need to put a little bit of uh, butter on the top to make it look shiny uh, and buttery uh, when it's done.
Hey, our buko pie is done. This is a Rivalor buko pie made in Stockton, California. Okay, this is what's left. And we only ate the crust. The crust was real good.